electrify a kerosene lamp. Now when I say electrify a kerosene lamp, I don't mean hooking up electricity to a lamp full of kerosene. That would be bad. No, what I mean is that we're going to actually convert this kerosene lamp with electricity. I've done four of these for the Brick Trader restaurant in Orange, and I've done four of these in my gazebo. Perhaps you've seen some of these uh, kerosene converted lamps in my series of how to build a waterfall. And today I'm going to show you how I made these lamps. But first we're going to have to gather the parts. The kerosene lamp and your two inch keyless sockets. This is where the bulb and electrical wire connect to. Your four inch socket covers. This will give that candlestick look. Your soft white bulbs to give it a flame like look. And of course your wire. This is just for demonstration purposes. The length of your wire will depend on where you're going to be placing your lamp. But first we take the lamp apart. All I have to do is just lift up the lid, remove the glass, here's your extra wick and your wick cover. You can throw these away and you untwist this. Yes, go this way. There's your dome. The only thing we are keeping is this dome because the candlestick will be in here. This wick, this little lever right here, we don't need it. Next we're going to drill a 3 8 hole in the back because we want to keep this lever and this cap in the foreground. So we're going to put the 3 8 hole in here somewhere in the center of this uh, dome here. This is where the wire is going to be coming, going into and then coming up. So just kind of eyeball it thusly. There's an inner and outer la um, layer that you have to go through. So once this is done, take a file and clean it up. With your socket cover, Pencil trace the circumference around the wick dome. This will show you how far you have to sand and remove this portion. You can just barely see it there. So we're going to sand this away and then this, this uh, socket cover will fit into here. If you don't have a sander, ask a friend, or a neighbor, or a local machine shop to help out in grinding this part for you. So now it's round. All we have to do now is to deburr it by filing it, and it will be ready. So now that the slot has been removed and it's been made into a round circle, it is now time for assembly. Now if your lamp is going to be a table model, then you would just insert your wire into here and just have it snake out to here. If it's going to be hanging, you're going to have to thread it through here, through here, and then through here. This way you can put the glass here and then the wire will be nice and tight and then you can just hang it from your ceiling. So this will be the next part. Since we're going to be hanging ours from the ceiling, we thread it through here, past here where the glass will be going, and we insert into this hole the 3 8 hole that we just drilled, and we just pull the wire through, get the slack, there we go. Alright, and we make sure that the wires are twisted with a little hook. All right. Then we take our keyless sockets and we remove the cardboard from there. What we have here is a silver and gold screw and through this hole 
we insert these wires. One going to the gold, one going to the silver. There we go. And we got to twist it around into here. There we go. Make sure your wire is underneath the screw. And you screw it down. Do the same for the other side. screw it down. Alright. Okay, next we slip this cardboard cover over the socket to protect this. We slip this on thusly. Then we slip this through the hole that can be here. And we secure this wick holder right down into there. Then we take the slip cover and we bring it down into the hole. Now we can start pulling up on the slack of the wire. And we screw in the bulb. Slide this all down and pull up on the slack. All right. It's a little confusing sometimes because you've got all this stuff hanging in front of you. But there you go so far. Then, let's see, this faces back this way. So then you slip the <laughs> there you go, the bulb goes around here, lift up on the lid, and then the glass is in. Then you tuck this stuff around here, it gets a little tight here. And you keep it the wire nice and flat, like so. And there you have it. There is your lamp. This will be hanging up like so. This wire back here will be hidden so you don't see it much. And then it's time to plug it in. There we go. So what we have here is very basic wiring, it's just a plug-in type. You can also um, put a switch in between it so you can turn it off and on. You can also hook it up to your main wiring within your house and have a dimmer switch, much like what I did with the gazebo. Um, the dimmer will control the light so you can you know, create the uh, ambient uh, luminance in your house or your backyard. And um, this is how we do it. At least the basic principles are done and this is how you can build it. It doesn't take very long to do takes maybe about, oh, 15 minutes. Uh, the cost for all these parts here are $10. So it's a, a very practical thing to do to make something very interesting and very entertaining as well. And that's how we electrify a kerosene lamp. With the Engineering Workshop, I'm Eric Vogelvang reminding you why be ordinary when you could be amazing. Until the next project, take care, work hard. Thank <laughs> you.